What's good, everybody? My name is Stephen Bell, and you are watching The Illest Line. First of all, man, I appreciate you being on here with me. Definitely, 100%. Very excited. This is God's yeah. work, so how, oh, how yeah. can we say no, right? <laughs> I know, right, right. No kidding. Hey, you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. I, I, oh, trust me. I, I know all about it, and I, right. I don't want to be that type of person. So. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to be that guy. <laughs> nope, not going to do that. Whatever God right, says, right. That, that's what we're going to do. Keep awesome, it like that. Awesome. Yeah, yeah most definitely. Appreciate that. But So, yeah, I, I was reading that uh, you're from uh, Ottawa, Canada. Yes, sir. So I'm from okay. the nation's the nation's capital of uh, Canada, Ottawa. No one really yeah. knows, really and truly. Like everybody thinks that uh, Toronto is like the capital city because that's right, all right. they know. That's all we know, right? <laughs> yeah, it's but it's like no Ottawa. So I want to make that known. Six one three Ottawa is the capital of Canada. That's right. Um, Get Tor- it right. <laughs> that's it. Toronto. Toronto is the entertainment city. So gotcha. that's that's pretty much why everyone thinks just Toronto and right, Drake. Right. Drake blows right, up right. Toronto too. So <laughs> right. Ottawa is very, very, very quiet. Um, right. it, it's a business city because, you know, the government's oh, okay. here. So uh, right. they don't want to make it too entertaining. Right. So they just uh, want to keep it as casual as possible. Which is probably right, why right. no one really knows about us. But, you know, Ottawa, right, Canada, right. Ottawa, Ontario is the capital right. of of Canada. Sorry, I just want to throw that out there. Hey, that's all good. Got to get, yeah. You got to make sure people get it right. That's it. That's it. This is where we dwell, man. One of my one of my main questions I wanted to find out first is yeah. when when was the first time you remember getting caught up in music uh, in general? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm born and raised in the church. Um, mm-hmm. I realized the musical gift from like a young age. Uh, I started off as a, a drummer. Um, I was about 12, 13 years of age. I don't know how it started. I think, uh, you know, in my mom's basement, I had right. sticks and we we're just playing like the sticks on the floor. And right, from, right. from that, it turned into, you know, let me try to play some drums. Mm. Uh, and I guess God really pushed the gift quickly. I don't remember even learning how to play. I think I just jumped on oh, okay. and it just like started. Um, nice. I mean, I wasn't great, obviously, but like people tra- <laughs> like trained me and like right. I got really good uh, after a while. So I, I would say from right. the age of 11, 12, um, I started playing drums for the uh, church and then playing drums nice. for the church uh, choir. Right. Um, and then it pushed to, you know, me singing on the uh, choir as well. Um, mm. And then at that point is when I develop the love for music just on a whole um from choir music to rap music you know we're just listening right. to it. So like everything uh growing up it was more secular music there wasn't too much uh christian right. or, or christian rap music um right. but you know you're just doing your thing listening to whatever's hot mm-hmm. um, and then after a while um I saw this uh movie um you may remember it um T- T-Bone was in it um fighting temptations yeah, fighting I think temptations yeah all right random movie to get inspired by but well, hey it, it, it really <laughs> inspired me um if there was a certain point in that uh, movie i think it was uh, they were in a church and they brought all the uh, guys who were in jail um to that church i guess i don't know why right, but right. they're all there so t-bone right. was there i don't know what his name right. was in the movie but like he was the rapper Mm-hmm. Um, and you know they were doing their thing, doing their thing, and then the music just switched to like the uh, hip hop music, right? And then as soon as T Bone came in and just did his verse, I was like, "That's it." <laughs> I was right, like, eight, right. <laughs> "I was, I was eighteen years years old." We're watching it wow. in the uh, theater, and uh-huh. uh, at, at that moment, I'm like, "I want to do that. Like, I want to rap." Right. Um, and from then on, it just took off. Um, started to get into rap uh, groups and, mm. you know, just learning and growing, being on stage and just right. having having fun with it. So, um, yeah, that's kind of how, it, like, how it all started. Right. Um, and, yeah, now I'm here. <laughs> right, right. So then yeah. what, what was it about that point? Because I know, like, for me, you know, I remember hearing, you know, uh, Sugar Hill Gang and I remember, you know, uh, Big Daddy Kane and all that. So yeah. for me, it was, a, it was a little bit, a little bit different going on. I mean, I don't, I don't necessarily know how old you are. 
I'm in I'm in my 30s. Okay. I'll right. leave it there. <laughs> I'm, I'm 46. <laughs> oh, you look young, so, bro. Oh, well, appreciate that. <laughs> it's that's all good. It, it. It. <laughs> but um, but yeah, so for me, like I remember the excitement of hearing something new coming oh, okay. out from okay. from the east coast because i'm from california and oh, wow, okay. hearing it coming out from the east coast and then hearing all the yeah. other other you know people from the west coast come up so yeah. what was it about that particular point that particular moment of that movie that when you saw t-bone when you when you heard him do his thing what, what was it that like drew that drew you to that sir i can't even really answer that question i have no <laughs> idea it was just, just exciting right it, it was it was more just I've maybe it was a God inspired moment. I, I think it was away from like what actually was going on. It was more just a right. connection between, you know, what, what God is saying and what my destiny is. Right. Um, I, I honestly, I do more than just like rap. Like I am a minister as well. Right. Um, I was and that, yeah. I'm on the, and I'm on the yeah, worship side as well. So, but it just, just for that moment, um, it was just, and that hit me just on the inside mm -hmm. gut and i was like right. mm, i actually want to do that like that's really yeah. inspiring actually now that i think about it um even before that moment i was like man how can you do like rap and and, and christian like this like how can right. you connect it right and right. i don't think i saw a way to like connect it to so i mm -hmm. believe once wow. i saw that i'm like oh a christian rapper who actually sounds hot I'm right like, okay, right cool. exactly yeah yeah Right. And then it kind of moved from like there. So I think it was more just um, seeing some or somebody who can really, really rap really well mm -hmm. and who was actually a Christian. Um, right. And I'm like, OK, so there is so like there is a way to actually do it. So I'm like, I right. think that's kind of where that um, connection drew uh, for for me really and truly so yeah <laughs> got, you. got you yeah yeah, yeah. And, I, and i'll admit i mean it's definitely something that that makes you you know get excited about it too you know when you start when you start to hear different things you know what i mean especially yeah, for yeah. me for me with that movie i remember you know hearing the same thing and i think this was around probably around the time when i first got saved because i don't remember when that movie came out i think it was oh, after geez. 04 it was somewhere it was around, after 04, yeah. <laughs> somewhere around there. It was, it was a yeah. while ago. Yeah. yeah. So it definitely brings on a different, you know, feeling than what, you know, you might be used to, especially like you said, with, you know, hearing uh, secular music and everything right, and coming right. up in that way. Right. Um, so then being a part of the church that uh, yeah, I should say, I should say still, but growing up in the church for you, right. how did that make you feel in regards to moving in what you felt was your, your calling? I, I, let me just clarify uh just what i just want to make sure you're i'm um, hearing the question clear are you talking more about the the battle in terms of like rap being accepted in the church correct yes yes so you got it right there on the nose yeah okay <laughs> yeah. okay um yeah. i it was tough um mm -hmm. definitely because you know they don't accept like they didn't really accept that right. style um right. but i feel like it was more the fact of um us not really doing it in the church but doing it outside the church like, i right. feel like as long as we were staying outside the church doing it mm. there wasn't any problem but when you tried gotcha. to bring it into like a, you know a friday night or like a sunday morning service right, or such right. and such then it's you know that's where it became an issue um mm. so i feel like it, i never really thought of that i just kept it outside I um, oh, never okay. really introduced it inside the church, right? Um, but it it definitely had its challenges. But we kind of connected mm -hmm. it to Jesus and his walk, um, the right. amount of challenges that he had with the religious church, and they're exactly. trying to fight him and like kill him down. So right. at the same time, I kind of felt like you know we were going through the same thing, right? We were we were mm -hmm. doing this the same work as Jesus was doing. He was being. Uh, crucified ridiculed spit on slapped on lied on right um so that's kind of what was happening with christian rappers and uh, rappers mm -hmm. as a whole in right. the christian faith so right. i kind of just kept going with that conf like conf confident right? uh right. that um that was the work of the lord that we were doing and like god is right. god was like backing us because we were going through some type of tribulation right um right. so that's kind of how I felt with it. So that's what motivated to keep going because we weren't doing anything wrong. We were just preaching the gospel exactly. in a different way. 
So I think there was a disconnect between the yeah. older generation and the newer. Oh, yeah. We were like, we were seeing what's new and like current, you know, God always, God's always moving. So we right. need to move at the same time. Now, fortunately and unfortunately rap was, was, was and is the most popular genre right. of music. So sure we is. were just tapping into what's current and what's new. And we're trying to use that for the kingdom of God to mm -hmm. further the gospel and, and preach his word. Right. So I just didn't feel like they un understood that a lot of right. people, um, you know, as they grew up, when they pass their thirties, they get stuck in their ways. Yeah. And a lot of them do not want to adapt or change and stay current. Right. And that was one of the uh, mm -hmm. issues with like what was going on. Right. So right. it was a disconnect and they didn't want to do something new because, you know, they wanted to stay comfortable in what they right. were doing. It was working then. And it can work now. Exactly. They didn't yeah. understand that. No, you, you don't <laughs> fix it. But right. that's not <laughs> the case. New thing happening. Yeah. You, you can't pour old wine into a new wine. Like you can't do it. So yeah. everything needs needs to be new, and we need to adapt to the new. So, like you said before, like I just mm -hmm. think that they just needed to open up their mind a bit and understand what's happening uh, in this current time. And I just feel like that right. was not happening. But I thank God that uh, we have a strong generation of young people who are, right. uh, I guess you can say, rebelling against religion and moving forward to a, right. a, a relationship with right. God and like what exactly. he wants. Right. So I'm, I'm thankful for that. And I'm happy that, you know, uh, music is still pushing. I would oh, just yeah. challenge everybody to keep it gospel, keep it within the word. And let's continue right. to push and preach the uh, gospel as god Most has commanded us to do let's not move away from it right so uh, we don't definitely. need to be like them you know right um, we are in the world but we are not of the world of right it. that's so right so we need to just do it god's way god is the creator of music so we don't need to copy but i'm right i'll stop there exactly right right but, and and that's that's the good thing about it you know that there's a lot of people you know from your generation my generation that's even it. you know possibly a, a few from the previous generation yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah because I, I got to see some of that too that, exactly. that some of them that were willing and able to allow new things to come yeah. in you know like i, I remember yeah. even one of the churches i belong to they um i think there was something about mining that they weren't sure about oh, okay. you know what i'm saying that's but right that's if right. you if, if you really sit and think about what it is that they're doing right you know what i'm saying how it is how it is that they're they're using their their bodies and their emotions and yeah. everything else their actions like it all came to a head when it was like oh okay yeah i see exactly what this is that's for it. That's you it. know what i mean and it's yeah. just as good as standing behind a pulpit and preach that's it you, you know you are, so. you are prophetically moving you're dancing yeah. you're showing what what the god yeah. is saying it's an amazing yeah. thing yeah it's true man. Sure it's true. Sure definitely Mm -hmm. But to kind of go back on um, what you were talking about as far as like, you know, the rap culture and all that, um, listening to your music, I, I got to say that I, I wouldn't necessarily say, and this is just me, just as a listener's point of view, um, hey, right, right. I wouldn't necessarily say that it would be considered more hip hop rap as much as it would be still kind of like, um, yeah. um, like just a different style of gospel. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, now yes, I do sir. see, yes, I do see the sir. relation in it as far as you know how yes. how your your uh, how you go about it with with your writing. You know, which by the yes. way, man, your your writing skills are 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 nice, man, real nice. Thank you, man. Um, That's awesome. Man, most Thank definitely. You. Um, Thank you. <laughs> but as far as like the sound of it too, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I can see how like the syncopation and everything of of how yeah. you flow can be yeah. considered rap. But um, I hear more singing in it. So you do you yes. do a lot more stuff because I, I know for the songs that i heard <laughs> yeah. uh, the three ones, what, what is it you have unity you have yeah uh, just justice uh, is coming uh, justice is coming yeah those are yeah. they sound real epic you know what i'm yeah. saying but they also sound they also have that that real like sing songy kind of kind of yes. vibe to it so do you yes. have other stuff that you're trying to work on where it is more rap or do you feel more comfortable on singing so you got it down pat um and i'm and i'm glad that you hear that because that's exactly what i was yeah. trying to put out um, I didn't want to be classified too much as a rapper. Um, right. That's why, like, my my uh, titles is more like urban and like worship. I just right. find like um, 
because I, I taste both like genres, I kind of just wanted to have my own style. Um, right. I didn't want to really just do like rap or I didn't really want just to stay in like worship area. Um, right. I just felt like there was a certain sound um, that I can bring both in one mm-hmm. and the other. Um, I just found like, you know, I do enjoy autotune. <laughs> I do enjoy um, singing. I'm not right. a, like, I'm not a, I'm not an actual singer, but uh-huh. uh, I can hold my own. Um, right. I just like that type of sound. Um, and I kind of wanted mm-hmm. to connect to as much people as possible. Right. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I love I love the hip hop beats. Like, I love the uh, drops. Like, I love all, all of that. Um, but I just wanted my main sound to be what you heard. Um, so, like, from 2020, from, 20, from 2020 to 2021, mm-hmm. those were the only songs that I was really pushing um yeah, but yeah I am working on uh or my next single is going to be more like on the rap side but that's oh, just okay. how it came that's just how it came out so oh, okay. I'm glad that you actually uh heard it like the way I wanted to push it out so right, it's very right. very good <laughs> yeah definitely, <laughs> definitely about appreciate that. It. <laughs> now yeah. the part of the reason why I asked that too is because I, I did notice that you had uh, a couple of singles out from like I think it was 09 and, and 2011 um i was yeah, actually trying to find yeah. that because i wanted to hear like the difference from then to now um did you not put that out um on uh, online or anything or is it uh, available somewhere else or I, um i did take it down just because you know i was i just felt like it wasn't as professional as it should have been um gotcha. and like where i'm at now is is not where i was so i just didn't right. want to connect it to what's right. going on right right like uh, right now um I still kind of have it like circling like around the house, but uh, it's, I just didn't feel like it was professional enough gotcha. to uh, keep it out there. Um, I, I, I kept one of the uh, songs um, is titled everybody's Jesus. Um, yeah. That was a banger back, back then. So I, uh-huh. I kind of kept that on and I keep it on uh, uh, social media and like all of that. Oh, okay. Um, but for the most part, I just I took away pretty much everything that I didn't feel was up to par and was representing uh, God as best as I could. So, gotcha. I mean, you know, because we got to do everything with excellence. Yeah. So and purpose. I, exactly. So I just yes. took off what wasn't sounding too uh, right. And mm. I kept what gotcha. uh, was like sounding good. And then from right. here on in, I just make make sure that everything is up to par and like quality right, is like right. good. So, yeah, so that's probably why you haven't heard much um but what you hear from like then is is like pretty much what i wanted you to hear so okay good yeah yeah. yeah. (laughs) Yeah. um the other thing about it too uh kind of going back to um you know back in the when you got you know first caught up in music and whatnot like i understand you you know you found uh you know it interesting with t-bone and all that but like actually coming up from when you were little um who were some of the people that you would say that are your influences that really made you feel like you know i i really want to like dig into music a little bit more than just the regular listening to stuff you know what i mean because there is a difference people don't understand that there is a difference from the moments where people just listen to music yeah and the moments where people are listening to actually right right help create and they get influenced from so who are some of your influences that you had um you want me to stick to like just uh, rap (laughs) oh whichever whoever it was you know to be honest Um, with you I will honestly say at the beginning of my rap journey, um, mm. Cross Movement, you know, if you remember them. Oh, yeah. Uh, they were the pioneers of everything happening yeah. right now. So you definitely have to pay your respects to them. Um, oh, yeah. They they were definitely like the ones that I were listening to and just like uh, watching and just trying to, right. you know, learn, learn from um, the uh, truth, the ambassador. Yeah. Um, who else? Fanatic, I think. Uh, another one. Oh, yeah all of them like i was i was like picking from all of their albums i was just like enjoying Christ, like christian rap music really truly right. um because you didn't hear too much of it right so mm-hmm. just to 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 know at that time that we had something to listen to that we didn't have right. to like you know move away to like the uh, secular right. side like i was uh, really right. happy right. about that you know mm-hmm. so yeah they were definitely a a start but when the cray came that was it for me <laughs> he, right. like he was my uh, guy 
for uh, uh, many, many, many years. So I was just listening right, to him. Right. Uh, that's that's kind of where I stuck to the whole crump crump style. Like I loved uh, the mm -hmm. uh, South balance and right. all that. Right, um, right. And Dirty South, I guess. That's what they called mm -hmm. it back then. I don't know what they call it now. I guess it's trap music. But uh, right, right. that's like kind of like where I was going with it. So Lil Ya Cray was, was my inspiration for like seven years straight. Oh, okay. um and then once once he once he uh kind of moved around i uh, moved away uh mm. from him and then I, I was just i geared more towards uh at that point um worship music praise and worship uh, choir uh, music i kind of focused on that more oh, gotcha. um it's just growing in that um but to play multiple uh mm. instruments so drums and like bass and uh piano just trying to right. learn and grow from uh, that and still staying in like the rap uh, genre but um, right right at that point i was doing both um worship side because we like started to like travel for like uh, with our choir and everything um oh, okay. so i was i was i was the drummer so you know it was it was more of a focus on that um yeah and then you know as time uh went on we i quickly we came back into our music and started to be in groups and all that stuff. So yeah, nice, nice, so, gotcha. That's cool. Yeah. That's real cool. And, mm -hmm. and it's nice to be able yeah. to, to to look yeah. back on it and be like, okay, yeah, I know, I knew exactly how I was feeling at this point when I was listening to this person. Like for me, it was always like Stevie Wonder. You know what I mean? Oh, Him and. Yeah. Um, who else? Obviously, Michael Jackson and Prince. Of you know course, what I mean? Like yeah. they were, yeah. they were some of my my. I I don't want to call them. I never called them idols. Like never, never did that. But it was one of those things that's, where it's like, oh yeah, <laughs> definitely love them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Always, always love their music. You know. But as I grew, I think for me, it it ended up being more. Um, I ended up listening to more like Fred Hammond. You know what okay. I mean? Um, awesome. he was one of the main ones who had, who's still to this day has such a rich voice, you know, yeah, what I mean? to where yeah. he, he could, he could like re he could sing like a certain portion of the Bible and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> he probably preached like that and it's like, okay, just hit record. You that's know what it. I mean? Yeah, that's it. That's um, so true. So yeah, it's, it's, it's good to like, to, to be able to relate to certain things and, and, and be able to latch on to them knowing right. that it helped shape you to, you know, what you are today. And that's, that's real cool yeah that's real I cool to hear i th i think as well now that you mentioned those names ty tribbett uh, was definitely yeah. huge oh, um yeah. kirk uh, from like back back in the day he was definitely oh, yeah. huge as well and mm -hmm. um ricky dillard loved him <laughs> he was yeah. always wild wild yeah. man he's just loved him oh, to yeah. this day. Uh -huh. <laughs> speaking of which yeah. i did see too that so you opened up for uh ricky dillard before too as well so, as i think it was uh who else kenton jones so we so we i didn't open up for them we shared oh, okay. the same stage on like the same gotcha. same day so uh um, oh, okay gotcha <laughs> it was the so we had an annual blues fest uh every year and my oh. uh, brother-in-law uh he was in charge of the gospel side and like oh, every nice. year it was it was big we'd have so much artists coming in coming in wow. and um i was a part of a group prosper in gpm um uh, in uh, ottawa and uh we would be performing on the same day so we pretty right. much shared like we shared the stage with like right. those oh, okay. those guys yeah, gotcha. yeah yeah but yeah. never um i think the the one that we opened up for was uh, richie righteous oh yeah. okay and yeah, then i read that too yeah exactly so yeah we we just shared shared the stage with all of them but i think it was mm -hmm. Ken, actually kenton jones sorry uh we opened up for him as well <laughs> oh okay yeah, yeah yeah he's another one that's that's been dope ever since and i love that uh, guy, i'm gonna stay saved i love that like guy. i know he had stuff before then but password like, man password was the one. <laughs> <laughs> but that i'm gonna stay saved song man yeah. that was my first my first introduction to him and it was okay. like Oh man, the whole thing was, it, it was funny, but it was at the same time, it was like, like you got some good points on the song. Like, yeah. wow, really? You know <laughs> and what? it made you feel like, you know, okay, just because I'm a Christian don't mean I'm a punk. That's you it. know what I mean? That's kind That's of what it. it made you feel That's like, it. you know? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, you, I completely forgot about Canton, man. Like he was yeah. definitely another huge one. And like he was singing and like, on the hip hop beats too. So right. I think that's kind of how I have my like style as well. Right. Um, right. So yeah, Kenton was a, a huge one and I'm, and I'm glad that he's still doing uh, what he's oh, yeah. doing. So it's, oh, it's yeah. actually awesome. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, man. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. So I want to kind of get into this, this thing that I feel is a, a theme and you could tell me if I'm right or wrong, but for me, it felt like a theme. So with your, your songs that you had out from uh, unity 
and justice is coming yeah it seemed like it was almost like a preparation for way up so yeah you're definitely on um it's funny because it's on it was an unplanned theme um mm. i just kind of went with what god was saying and like what right. what uh god was was like speaking to me um mm -hmm. and and where my heart was for this generation and and, and like what was right. going on um you know you always hear god is coming back god is coming back right. you know that's what we heard our whole lives but oh, yeah. um really and truly like you can see with the signs of the times everything that's like happening um i right. think god is really just trying to awaken his people and to not even so much warning 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 but like no i'm right. really trying to wake you up to let you know that right. these are serious times i am coming back mm -hmm. and you need to get ready so yeah. um, that's why i said way up because we've been saying you know god is coming back god is god is coming back but now it's like okay are you on your way up now because right. it's about like it's about time um really and truly it's like what are you doing for me in this hour because you know when the time comes right. you're you're gonna have to give give an account for you know what you did so right. you know, are you on your way up like what have you done like have you used the talents that i've given you like have you multiplied it mm -hmm. or, or uh, did you bury it you know wicked and right. slothful servant like <laughs> lazy right. person like you don't want to be that person so i just exactly. i just felt like i just felt like um you know god is definitely speaking um mm -hmm. and uh through rap music is one of the ways that i can you know, speak his word and 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 right. uh, speak what 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 he wants his people to actually hear. Yeah, uh, it's funny because I was I was thinking the same thing. Like, man, this seems to be a theme, right? Of, right. Like, so I, and at the same time, I'm like, okay, like I really need to wake up. You know, I right. I really need to because these songs are yep. for me too, right? Exactly. Um, I'm not just saying it, saying it, saying it, and then I'm like perfect. No, 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 no. Right. Exactly. Far from it sir so mm -hmm. i i'm on my knees i'm praying i'm seeking his face and and whatever yeah. he's speaking to me i'm just trying to help everybody and just speak yeah. this is what god is saying um take it or I'll leave it but we really mm -hmm. need to wake up are you on your way up so yeah. I, that's kind of exactly. yeah you're right there is a yeah, theme. <laughs> man. yeah yeah and it, it's cool when you could look back on those things too when you when you have certain uh um, songs that you've released and, and and you end up realizing oh wow like i didn't i didn't mean for this to happen but it, it. It, it's that's cool it. that it did you know and, and <laughs> yeah. it's all god that's you know it. it's all god led you know and as long as you're you're putting your best foot forward by yeah. by reaching out to god first and making sure that you ask him to have yeah. your have his will in your yeah. life yeah you man. know what i mean that's and it to the point where you know that every song that you put together that's has it a purpose, that's it you know that's that's definitely it yeah that's it man. um <laughs> no normally what i try to do is i try to um pick a a line out of out of the songs to right. you know to talk about but I got to tell you, you, you made it really difficult for me to pick <laughs> because the whole entire song from that beginning to end wild, was, was dope. Wow, um, awesome. The hook though, I would, I would definitely say is what, what probably stood out the most to me, Yeah. but I want to find out from you, like what, what was your favorite part that as soon as you recorded it or heard it back or, you know, however you, you want to put it, uh, which part for you was the one that stood out for you? Which line out of that song was the, the, it was oh. to you? I'm gonna have to go back and find, but um, <laughs> right. I'll say from like the uh, hook, um, way up. Gotta get in line with the times. Are you mine? Are you on your way up? We have to get in line mm. with what's happening. We have to get in line right. with like what God is showing us and yeah. what God is doing. Right? Uh, we have to get in line. We have to see it. We have to understand it, and then we have to be on our way up. So, gotta get in line with the times. Are are you mine? That's another huge one. Like, yeah. are you working with me or are you working with the devil? Because remember, you're either hot right. or you're or cold. cold. <clears throat> There's no like middle middle ground. Like you're either working for him or you're working right. for like God. So, you know, who are you working for? Are you working for me? Like, if you're working for me, okay, let's get to work. Let's right. let's move. Let's do something. There's so much people out there who don't even know Jesus, and we think everybody right. knows, but then they're just rejecting him. No, they're not. Yeah. They really don't know that personal uh, relationship with Jesus, and that's right. what 
I'm trying to uh, help within my own self and help the uh, generation. Like, mm -hmm. let's go. Like, there's people right. dying every single day and, and we need to be doing our job, right? We need to be going yeah. out there, preaching the gospel, you know, healing the sick, you know, <laughs> uh, raising right. the dead, like showing this world the, the true power of Christ, right? So right. get in line with the times and let's move. Um, okay. a, another one, it was a call to the uh, prophets. I don't even remember. <laughs> um, can I get a prophet on the watchtower? I find that um, a lot of the uh, prophets are hiding because of church hurt. But right. I want to encourage every prophet to step up and to answer the call and to be on right. that watchtower and speak what God is speaking, no matter how it feels, no matter how mm -hmm. it sounds. Right. You you had prophets who were um, speaking in the Bible and knew that these people were not going to listen to them. Right. right? They sure already did. knew God already told them, listen, they're not going to listen to you, but you need to right. be doing what I'm supposed to do or you need to be doing what I'm telling you to do. So I just yeah. I just want to encourage every prophet to start to speak because we need prophets. We need apostles. Definitely. Listen, um, the, fi the uh, fivefold. Right. So you have the, mm -hmm. the apostles, the prophets, the pastors, the teachers, the uh, right. evangelists. Right. We mm -hmm. need each other for the pillar to stay strong. Like we are all right. one, right? And everybody needs to be in operation for the furtherance of the gospel. Yeah, so if 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 one of us is is off, then the whole body is off, which means right. this generation is not hearing God the way mm -hmm. they're supposed to. Right now, they're just laughing at the church. We're not showing power, yeah. we're not showing God's grace, God's mercy. Unity. God's <laughs> Thank you. Unity, yeah. number one, most importantly, mm -hmm. that's like the, the foundation of Christianity. Right. And that's been the biggest struggle, unity. Everyone's trying to do their own thing, but it's like, no, right. let's come together. Let's unite. Let's work with mm -hmm. all of the pillars of the gospel, right? right? The fivefold ministry, not just the pastor, no disrespect, mm -hmm. but you know, pastors are not the only leaders, right? Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. Right. It's apostles, prophets, we all need to lead together and right. build and build this this thing so uh, <laughs> that, yeah, that's, definitely that's kind of how i uh, feel that um so that those were kind of two uh powerful lines but i just really right. want to push that uh, message so that's good yeah that's hopefully good. that answered and the I, question yeah oh yeah most definitely <laughs> okay. and i can definitely feel that even even that part where you said are you mine you know yeah. it, it's funny because we already know god knows the answer to that question Right, right, but right. He wants to make sure right. that we are attentive to the things that we are doing. That's it. That's you know it. I mean? Because it, whether it's in that moment, yeah, that he's asking, or if it's in a moment that's coming later on, that's like it. there's a lot of times that we need to do a lot of self reflecting when it comes to our relationship with God. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, and and if we if we don't, we're gonna start questioning ourselves. Like, that's wait a minute, do I, do I really belong? That's it. You know what I mean? That's and some it. of those yeah. some of those thoughts can make us you know, do a complete 180 and go the other way. That's it. You know what right? I'm saying? Because we start feeling like, well, no, I'm not worthy. Well, yeah, of course we're not worthy, <laughs> you know, but <laughs> God thinks enough of us to, to right. even like ask us this question. So you, right. you're missing the point. You, you are his, you know, the answer is yes. Come on. You know, one of the things I, I meant to, uh, um, to mention earlier, um, I, cause you, you, for, for me, you're brand new to me. Like, I, I I'm not gonna lie. Like I just recently got introduced yeah. to your music yeah. because of, uh, what, what was that guy's Kofi? name? Uh, Kofi, Kofi. Yeah. Yes. Kofi That's my dude. <laughs> yeah. That broken record, man, that broken record sound. I mean, song, yeah. man, that song is dope. Awesome. So I was listening to it and I'm like, oh yeah. I was like, oh, okay. Let me, let me check this guy out. Cause I already hit him up too. So nice. we got some scheduled okay, this week cool. too. So, awesome. um, awesome. yeah, we'll definitely be talking more about that song with him, but, awesome. Uh, awesome. but yeah. So, well, you were saying that, you know, you're just discovering me now. That's mainly because we were silent for like many years, me and Kofi, no. we kind of started yeah. together back like in the day from 2009 to 2008. Really? Yeah. And we wow. kind of both stopped at the same time as well. Like he's like, he's also really? like the minister in his church. So he's, you know, does the whole oh, okay. preaching and I'm like yeah. preaching as well and like leading my uh, prayer groups and all that stuff. But like we, we kind of, uh, or I'll just speak for me, just like, I don't want to waste it. Right, prayer, right. But we, uh, gotcha. or I, uh, <laughs> I, I kind of stepped away from it. Um, mm. I was, I was more on the uh, worship side, like putting out songs right. and uh, that part of it. Um, so yeah, you really didn't hear too much of me and I was not pushing mm -hmm. uh, much of anything really and truly. Um, gotcha. but once I, I kind of got back into it, um, 
I, I, I started to push it more and like push it more. Um, so before I let you go, one of the last questions I want to ask you yeah. is um, thinking back to a lot of, I know it's a lot of songs out there. So, you know, if you can't think of one, that's fine. But um, what would you say is the, uh, um, is the illest line that you ever heard or one of the illest lines that you ever heard that made an impact on you? <laughs> I only ask the hard questions. <laughs> that is a hard question. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's a tough one. That's a yeah. tough one. Um <laughs> for me, it was it was more it was more songs. Like because I'm a musician yeah. first, mm -hmm. I never like growing up, I never really focused on lyrics. Like I was, oh, okay. I was more, I, I was more adapted to the sound and like, right, and, right. and like how the, how the person was flowing. It's very weird. Yeah, like actually, even yeah, my yeah. wife, like, like she can tell me like lyrics of a song from top to bottom. Right. Like, I'm like, how? And like, but for, <laughs> for me, like growing up now, I'm like more about lyrics, of course, cause like I'm, I'm grown right. and I realize okay, it's all about lyrics. Like you, like you're like speaking right. a message. Right. But really and truly Definitely. bro back then it was all about the uh, sound for me and the uh, yeah. hook you know what oh, the okay. hook was saying i never really gotcha. focused on uh lyrics i was just more about the uh, music because i was a musician right. so we i right. was taught and like trained to dissect a song um like right. di dissect the uh, drums piano all mm -hmm. that because we had to play play those songs later so i was right, never right. really um never really too deep on lyrics um, it's just mm -hmm. more how it sounded. Like I love the right. sound of it. So I'll tell you the gotcha. song, um, but I won't be able to right, tell right. you okay. the, the lyrics. Like <laughs> that, that's cool too. Right? Um, <laughs> Maybe the, I might be able to tell you the lyrics. <laughs> probably the crazy song, uh, "Real Talk." Um, mm -hmm. That whole that whole vibe was like it. Yeah. It for me. Um, now, if you play the song, I can tell you every right. lyric. <laughs> right. 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 <laughs> But like just gotcha, like gotcha. thinking about it, there's no way I'll be able to say it. But if you play right, it, right. I can give you every every lyric possible. It's, right. it's and it usually happens like that too. It, it's weird, man. It's weird. It's just yeah, it's just it's very very weird like that. But yeah, it was more yeah. about the uh, sound um, and like how the rapper delivered the song. Um, mm -hmm. That's I was just more about the uh, vibe. But um, yeah, like I said, if you play the song, I'll tell you every lyric. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool that's what it is for me man indeed indeed yeah, yeah, yeah. man well i appreciate this time that you that you're taking yeah, with man. me man like uh, very very much it's been a pleasure meeting you yeah for um, sure i definitely look forward to hearing more stuff from you and as a matter of fact before you go um can you uh let people know like where they can reach you on social media and uh where they can get your uh your music as well yeah definitely um so i just pushed out a website um you can get my music on there or you can see the social links on the top right, uh, bellmusicworldwide.com. That's bellmusicworldwide.com. You'll get all information about me, um, my links, all of that is there. Um, on social media, um, Facebook, you can get me at Stephen Bell Music uh, One for um, Facebook. So that's Stephen Bell awesome. Music One for Facebook. And for my Instagram, it's Stephen Bell Music underscore so that's Stephen bell music underscore for instagram um awesome. and yeah that's all my social links right now so just check awesome. the uh, website awesome. that's that's where all the uh, details will uh, be um i do yeah. have another single coming out uh probably in the next couple of months but if you go on the website okay. you'll uh, see all the updates there yeah for sure nice yes nice. sir but listen yeah, i i Sorry, I just want oh, to ahead. thank sorry, you for for uh, uh, allowing me to be on. It's a privilege. Yeah, most definitely. Um, and I'm definitely excited for what God is doing now. So just to know that you know yeah. it's being heard, and like uh, oh, yeah. people are being like inspired by it. I'm really thankful for that, and I'm very happy for uh, just being here with you and like talking, man. Definitely. Amen. 
Amen. Appreciate it. Yeah, definitely. Everyone who's listening right now, go out and check out bellmusicworldwide.com. You'll be able to see all this information up there. Um, also, don't forget to check out the illustlines.com mm -hmm. where you'll be able to see all the interviews. This interview is going to be up as well. Um, we definitely had a, a pleasure talking to you right now, man. And, yes, and like I said, I can't wait for uh, the, the things to come. Yes, um, and honestly, if you ever need anything from me on my part, let me know, man. If you need me to collab with you, let me know. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. You, most definitely. You put out fact, your do me a favor and check out the stuff. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I <laughs> already check did, out man. The, um... Oh, you did? Yeah, okay, cool. I already awesome, did. Awesome. You have a nice flow, man. I really like how you flow. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. So, yeah, man. Whenever you're ready, let me know. Let's do it, bro. Thank you so much once again, yes, bro. Sir. All right, man. <laughs> Much love. All right, man. God bless you, bro. All right, bless. We'll talk. All right, man.